All right, um, in this video, I'm going to introduce uh, uh, what is called the De Moivre's theorem. Um, this is a theorem to um, calculate powers of uh, complex numbers. There are two results we're going to um, need from trigonometry. Uh, these are the so-called double angle formulae. Uh, so cosine 2 theta is cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. And sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cosine theta. So we'll use these as we go along. So we're going to imagine that we have got a complex number z given by r cosine theta plus i sine theta or um, the shortened version r c i s theta. So this, this is just the polar form of um, any complex number where theta is the argument and uh, r is the modulus of z so um we're going to uh, see what happens if we square this so z squared is going to be r into cosine theta plus i sine theta and then this is all squared so this is going to give us r squared and then cosine theta plus i sine theta all squared. Um, then we're going to expand this using the binomial theorem. So it's going to give us three terms. First term is going to be cosine squared theta. The second term is going to be two times uh the product of these two terms so it's going to be 2i uh, sine theta cos theta the last term is the square of this term so it's going to be i squared sine squared theta and then we're going to do some collecting of like terms <laughs> So um, since i squared is negative 1, so we can um, plug in negative 1 here. So that's going to be minus sine squared. So um, we can have then cosine squared minus sine squared. Both of these terms do not involve the imaginary number i then uh, the uh, term involving i is just going to be this one which uh, let's write it uh, uh, like this i into 2 sine theta cos theta right now um, referring back to our double angle formulas uh, we're going to remember that cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta is cos 2 theta and 2 sine theta cos theta is sine 2 theta so that means um, this term here is simply cosine 2 theta and this term here is simply sine 2 theta <clears throat> So what this means is that uh, z squared, we can write as r squared cosine 2 theta plus i sine 2 theta. So this is z squared. Alternatively, you can write this as uh, um, r squared cis 2 theta. So what we note is that... Um, so when you square this thing, you square the modulus, but then the argument you multiply by that 2 there. Okay. So that's what's happening here. Um, similarly, uh, if we do a z cubed, we are going to find r cubed. CIS 3 theta, which uh, we are not going to do here, um, and z to the power 4 
uh, the same thing we raise r to the power 4 we we'll multiply the argument um, by 4 um, so in general um, in general uh, z to the power n um, which is going to be um, r cosine theta plus i sine theta to the power n this is going to give us r to the power n then we multiply the argument by n so in the uh, terms in terms of cis so this is what this thing is going to look like and uh, this formula so in in in, in our case from here we're doing this for like uh integer powers of uh n um so uh this formula uh is uh, called uh, the de Moivre's theorem so this is called uh, uh the de Moivre's theorem and as you can see, it's going to enable us <clears throat> to work out powers of um, Z. Okay, so what we're going to do at this point, uh, by the way, thank you for uh, visiting our channel and uh, watching this video. And uh, we hope this is uh, our videos. This material is uh, useful to you. Uh, do not forget, of course, to subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications so that when we post new stuff, you can be notified immediately. And uh, if you've got any questions, uh, just uh, post them in the comment section. So that is uh, the Demover theorem. What we're going to do uh, in the rest of this video is we're going to prove this theorem uh, using uh, mathematical induction. So our proof is going to cover the case uh, where n is an integer, so integer powers of z. So um, our proof is going to use the method of mathematical induction so that method has got three steps uh, in the first step we need to prove the formula for some value of n so in this case if we let n equals to 2 um, then we have uh, already proved this case um, um, above so her case has already been proved um, so we already um, showed that z squared is going to be r squared cis2 theta <clears throat> so in uh, step 2 we are going to assume that the formula is true for some value of uh, n um, which is an integer which we're going to call k so i'm going to assume that um, for some integer n equals to k the formula holds what this means we're going to assume that z to the power k, which is equals to r cosine theta plus i sine theta raised to the power k. So we're going to assume that this is equal to r 
to the power k cosine k theta plus i sine k theta. So for instance, if k is 2, so that covers the case that we have already shown in step 1. So I'm going to assume that for some value n equals to k, uh, this formula here is, uh, is true. Uh, then in step 3, which is uh, called the inductive uh, step, we want to prove uh, that uh, given uh, given that uh, step 2 holds uh, or step 2 is true um, so I want to prove uh, uh, let's actually prove whether mm. So I want to prove whether, given that the formula OX for uh, N equals to K, is it going to work for the next bigger integer? Um, <clears throat> so I want to prove whether Z to the power K plus 1, which is going to be equal to R cosine theta plus I sine theta to the power k plus 1 is this going to be equal to r to the power k plus 1 in 2 so instead of k theta we are now going to have k plus 1 theta um, so plus I sine k plus 1 theta. So there's a question mark here. So I want to prove whether uh, this is true. So I want to prove whether that is true. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start working on the left hand side of this and see whether we can show that it is equal to the right hand side okay so if we do that uh, so the left hand side is z to the power k plus one uh, this we can write as z to the power k times z now from step two z to the power k is equal to that so we can write this as r to the power k cosine k theta plus i sine k theta and z is r cosine theta plus i sine theta okay then the uh, the r terms uh, those are going to multiply to give us r to the power k plus 1. Uh, then we have to multiply uh, these two out. Um, so that's uh, sine k theta. And then times cosine theta plus i sine theta now if we do the multiplication uh, this is what is going to happen um, <clears throat> so cosine k theta times cosine theta then what I'm going to do is if multiply the last t two terms then that's going to be i squared sine k theta sine theta then if we multiply um, the second term into the first term here we're going to have i sine k theta cosine theta then the first term here times the last term it's going to be i sine theta cosine k theta Okay, 
then since i squared is negative one then um these two terms are just going to be real so i've got cosine k theta cosine theta minus sine k theta sine theta and then the last two terms we can write as i sine k theta cosine theta plus sine theta cosine k theta now using um identities from trigonometry uh, this term here is just cosine of k theta plus theta which we can write as k plus one theta and this term here is just a sine k theta plus theta sine k plus one theta and uh, this this is uh, now the right hand side um, and so we can conclude uh, that the formula is true for all integer values of n the formula is true for all uh, integer values of n um, in fact the this formula is going to be true for um, any uh, real values of n the formula uh, holds true uh, for all values of uh, n uh, real values okay um so that uh, sets up uh, our de Moivre's theorem in the next uh, uh, two or three videos we're going to look at some examples of how to uh, work out powers uh, of um, z using uh, the de Moivre's theorem the other thing which is going to be on of interest is uh, the uh, comparison between de Moivre's theorem and the binomial theorem because as you can see here we were working this out using the binomial because binomial is for working out powers of um, sums of two expressions with uh, sums of two terms so typically and that's what we have in complex numbers because we've got the real part and the imaginary part so we'll do those as well in the next uh, few videos all right thank you